you find yourself trapped in a medieval castle far away from civilization. Boy, you're on a bad vacation. You can't jump out of the window because it's too high above the ground. The only tree growing near the window doesn't look sturdy enough for you to climb down. However, guess what? There are three doors, one of which can lead you to freedom. But behind the first door, there's a fierce fire. The second door holds back hundreds of venomous snakes. And behind the third door, there's a pitch-dark maze filled with animal traps. Which door should you choose? The third. You'll just need to break off a tree branch, turn it into a torch by lighting it in the first room, and go through the maze. It won't be dark now. David and Hannah got stranded on a tiny, uninhabited island. They had no radio or cell phones, so they couldn't inform rescuers about their dire situation. There were no trees on the island, so they couldn't make a smoke signal. Suddenly, Hannah noticed a plane circling the sky in search of them. Unfortunately, it was flying too high, and the pilot couldn't notice them. That's when she got a bright idea. Soon after, the plane picked them up in no time. What was Hannah's idea? To use rocks to spell out SOS on the sand. You're sailing around the world when you get caught in a terrible storm. As your boat is fighting the huge waves and gale force winds, you suddenly hit your head against the mast and lose consciousness. When you come around, you find yourself on a beach surrounded by angry locals. They can't decide what to do with you, so they give you three options. They can send you to a cave filled with tarantulas, throw you in a pit full of yellow scorpions, or hand you over to hungry, ferocious lions. You have only 10 seconds to choose the option that will let you survive. Opt for the tarantulas. They're mostly harmless to humans. One sunny morning, a traveler is wandering through the jungle. All of a sudden, the path he's taking splits up into three smaller roads. One leads to a dangerous marsh that swallows anything and anyone who steps foot there. The second leads to vampire hunting grounds. And the third path will bring the traveler to an active volcano filled with red-hot lava. Which road is the safest? Your 10 seconds start now. The traveler should take the second path. Even if vampires do exist, they won't show up in the daylight of this sunny morning. Which element isn't on the periodic table? Here's a hint, they use it all the time in movies. It's the element of surprise. Ay, give me some plutonium. In which situation do you have more chances to survive? if you're falling from a 10-story building, or if you get surrounded by mean-looking snakes. Your 10 seconds are ticking. The snakes you've encountered might not be venomous and won't cause you any harm. But when you're falling from that kind of a height, well, it's just not your day. Mike was studying for a big test in the school library. It was already late when he finished up. As he was walking along the dark school halls, he heard someone shouting for help. The voice was coming from behind a locked classroom. Mike rushed there and managed to open the door. Inside, there was his classmate, John. He told Mike that he had gone to grab a bite in the cafeteria, only to find it was closed that day. Suddenly, someone hit him on the head, and the next thing he knew, he was locked in the classroom. Mike promised to find out who had done this. By morning, Mike had four suspects in mind. When school started, he interrogated them. Matthew told him he had been doing his homework in a classroom. Emily said that she had been with Matthew, but later she'd gone home. Olivia claimed that she had been having lunch in the cafeteria. And Chris explained that he had been sick that day. It took Mike no time to figure out who was guilty.
It was Olivia. She couldn't have been eating lunch in the cafeteria because it was closed that day. You're kidnapped and locked in a room with an explosive that will detonate in three minutes. You can escape through one of three doors, but behind each of them, danger awaits. Duh, of course. The first door hides a monster. A huge fire is raging behind the second. And if you open the third door, a toxic gas will fill your lungs. What's your choice? Hurry, you only have 10 seconds left. Open the door with the monster and throw the explosive inside. After it goes off, escape through this door. You agreed to take part in a reality show, but it turned out to be a trap from a crazed lunatic. He tells you to dive into one of four tanks. The first one is swimming with venomous snakes. The second is filled with corrosive acid. Electric eels are swimming in the third one. And the fourth tank is filled with bacteria-infested water. In which tank will you have more chances to survive? Choose the tank with the bacteria. First of all, not all bacteria are harmful. And secondly, not all bacteria are contagious. <clears throat> After a powerful earthquake, there's a blackout in your town. Some bad guys take advantage of the darkness to kidnap you for ransom. How coincidental. The building where you're kept has three doors you can use to escape. But the first door hides a trap that will crush you as soon as you enter. Behind the second door, there are electric chainsaws that can cut you to pieces in no time. And a flesh-eating acid is bubbling behind the third door. You have just 10 seconds to make your final choice. The chainsaws won't harm you because there's no electricity in the town, remember? A woman was hit by a car that sped away right after the accident. Luckily, there were several witnesses who could describe the car. The investigating detective headed to the house of one of the suspects. There, he saw a car that resembled the one in the description. But when he interrogated the owner, the man claimed he hadn't left his house all day. The detective figured out the suspect was lying right away. How? The detective touched the hood of the car and realized it was still hot from the engine. If you find yourself in a falling elevator, what should you do? Jump at the moment of impact or drop to the floor and cover your head? There's no way you'll be able to time your jump perfectly, so you should immediately fall to the floor and protect your head with your arms. Mark got a new book for his birthday. The plot was so exciting that he couldn't stop and kept reading the story until late at night. At midnight, his mom switched off the light in his room and told him to go to sleep. But Mark continued reading even though it was pitch dark. How is that possible? Mark was blind and was reading a book written in Braille. Those of you who said he was reading an illuminated ebook are creative, but sorry, no points. Captain Jack was an infamous and feared pirate who'd <laughs> robbed thousands of ships with the help of one simple trick. It allowed him to approach any ship from any country easily and closely enough to board it without any problems. What was his secret? Captain Jack had a collection of flags from different countries. Instead of using the feared Jolly Roger black flag, he raised the flag of the same country the ship was from, and it got him immediate access. I smelt when you heat it up. But if you heat me, I solidify. You have 10 seconds to figure out what I am. I'm an egg. And now to the most exciting part, your results. 